and Nepal is one of those rarest medical colleges in India with a capacity of 250 students. Let's see how these 250 students are divided into several groups so that each one of us get the equal opportunity to see the structures in dissection hall. 250 students are divided into small groups of 22 to 25 students on each table. One cadaver is assigned to every table. In the starting of the year, the cadaver is undissected and as the course goes on, the cadaver is dissected by the table teacher and the students itself. Each day, we have TH classes from 10.30 to 1 p.m. from Monday to Friday. In this duration, what we do is, first hour is taken by our teacher, table teacher, to explain whatever theory was done in class. They will show us the structures, draw the diagrams and explain things in a very good way so that we can understand the things by visualizing the structures on the cadaver, visualizing the diagrams drawn on the blackboard. They will ask questions from the students also to make the concept engraved in our heads. We have our teachers sitting there all through the duration of DH so that we can clear our doubts there. Though we have separate osteology SGT classes, but if the explanation is needed, teachers explain the doubts on the skeletal system that are assigned to each and every table. Along with the cadavers, we have different specimens of structures like brain, heart. Along with the cadavers and specimens, we have these separate specimens which are very well dissected and kept for our reference. As you can see, the blood vessels, the muscles and everything are shown very properly along with the labeling. So this is the area where all the specimens and the cadavers are kept in refrigerator. So let's see how these cadavers are kept. So this is the refrigerator it's very big and all the cadavers are kept here there is one cadaver still kept there if you can see it and the specimen of brain and many small structures are kept in these small refrigerators in formalin and it smells very bad really